guys i don't believe this so i just finished filming the video i was just taking some photos and i was thinking what is wrong with my face what is wrong and then i realized what do i not have on for feck's sake i forgot mascara again see what i mean like my memory is terrible like why do i keep forgetting mascara did you notice did you honestly or do you think it's okay like I, i'm thinking do i have to like refilm the video oh my gosh guys anyway oh, i'm so sorry guys she is mrs forgetful like literally but i don't think it looks too bad but it would look a lot better if i had fucking mascara on anyway guys uh hello there and oh my gosh i kind of surprised myself with how loud that hello there was hey Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing fantastic today. But today I'm going to be doing an AliExpress haul and at the end of the video I've got some products that the Novo makeup brand very kindly sent me so I'm going to be showcasing them and if you could give me a bit of feedback to let me know which of the palettes you'd like me to try first that would be wonderful but today we're going to start with the aliexpress haul i don't know what is this it's me embarrassing myself is what what it is i mean really okay so the first product that i've got to show you today in this haul is by beauty glazed so this is their new mysterious palette that's the actual name mysterious i'm not saying it's mysterious it is called mysterious oh my gosh like did i need to explain no i didn't this palette it just instantly makes me think Huda Beauty because of like the look of it like does it look like these are my eyes like hello my name is Mysterious and I'm an eyeshadow palette what's your name this palette got to me in record time I think I only ordered it like two weeks ago and here she is so if we open her up which I've not done yet as always I just like to share the surprise with you uh, so we take the outer sleeve off we've got the actual palette on the front and i'm gonna open her up i'm gonna let you guys see her first and then i'm gonna i'm gonna look second because i'm just i'm very polite like that you know what i mean so oh shit oh my gosh guys i had flashbacks then you know to the um spotlight palette by you can be with the navy blue shade that just exploded everywhere i know it exploded probably quite a dramatic way to put it but i just had flashbacks like literally but okay so guys you look at the palette like what do you think T -t -t oh my gosh she looks actually really pretty um i do believe that this is meant to be a little bit of a take on the huda beauty is it called retrograde mercury retrograde i don't know but you know the palette that huda beauty has just released it I think this is meant to be like a little bit of a take on it. It looks really, really pretty actually. I like the like colour combinations. Um, and it does say on the back here that it's a text textured shadows palette. And I do believe that the shimmers, they do look quite textured. They almost look like foiled um, foil shadows. So if I just do a little swatch, oh my gosh, it is the softest shadow I've ever felt. Oh, Oh my gosh i'm so sorry guys like, i really don't want to scream because i know that it really pisses off headphone users are you okay unicorn i feel like i just whacked the unicorn with my chair which i do all the time and you just see him like nodding from side to side like saying can you stop fecking knocking me like really seriously so guys look look at this oh my gosh these are pressed shadows but they're kind of foiled because it felt so soft to the touch oh guys yes i mean it's a little bit glittery but look look at that level of glow oh my gosh guys i'm so excited to try this palette i've got a feeling that it's going to be really really beautiful yeah as i said as well i do like the color story but just kind of looking at it i feel like the the kind of shades that really stand out to me are this one here i like the look of this one i like this one i like this one i like all of the texture shadows but i feel like the mattes they're just a little bit like you know standard everyday like yes we have a brown we have a lighter brown we have a peach we've got a dusky rose so in terms of like the mattes i'm sure that if you've bought any beauty glazed eyeshadow palettes you've probably got 
all of these matte shades already but for me it's the actual formula of these shimmers that is really getting me wet right now like literally oh my gosh i can't wait to try this out i'm hoping to film this tomorrow um and obviously like this haul it's not gonna be going up for a few days but i hope that the review of this palette is going to be the next video after this one because I know that you guys are going to be so excited to see this. So I actually posted a picture of the products that Novo sent me on Instagram yesterday and a lot of people saying, oh my gosh, but I've already got that palette in my basket. I really want to try it. And like I always say, guys, stop. Let me be the guinea pig. I will test it out. See if it's any good. See if it's worth you spending your hard-earned money on, okay? So yeah, just like call me the the guinea pig of youtube okay so next we have actually another palette by beauty glazed and um, i didn't actually put two and two together when i was like sorting out products for the haul that these were both by beauty glazed but in my experience beauty glazed is a really really good affordable brand the quality is great considering the price so i went ahead and bought the lemon palette i do have the mint palette these are basically um again kind of takes i think on the huda beauty neon palettes uh, so i got the i think the, the green palette dupe which i've not got it like right here unfortunately but yeah i love that palette anyway so i went ahead and got the lemon one so this is what she looks like absolutely gorgeous uh, the reason why this palette appealed to me was because i've not really got a lot of like yellowy amber like golden eyeshadows and i just thought this would be a really great one to kind of add into my collection and um, because i am i am on a bit of a mission at the moment to only buy like eyeshadow palettes of with shades in the I don't already have i mean I'm, as i'm saying this i'm thinking i want to you know you are going to fail this mission because you're just going to see a palette and you're going to be like oh yes big jess i need it and it's going to have all of the same shades that you've got in probably about 10 other palettes so as i'm saying this to you i know like i'm not not sticking to this plan but it sounds like a good plan doesn't it in theory like it sounds good kind of like when you say to yourself okay i'm going on a sh no buy ban for December you know kind of like all the guys were doing no not November well like you know I do try and do like no buy Novembers but that it just doesn't go well so I've just I know that's just not the path I'm meant to take in life of just no but not buying stuff because I love buying stuff I just can't can't not buying buy stuff I love buying stuff is what I'm trying to say so I have tried a bunch of other nine pan beauty glaze palettes all of them appear to take inspiration from Huda Beauty. I think that all of the ones I've tried have been really, really good dupes. So, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to trying this. I think the door just went. Someone's at the door. Is it delivery? Oh, no, it's not delivery. Oh, my gosh. Is that... What's that gorgeous? You need a poo? I'm sure that the boys just have this alarm in their head that whenever I'm filming, it's like okay you need a poo now you need a poo now it's like oh my gosh like i wish i pooed as much as the boys like really i'm not saying i'm constipated but i would just love to be as regular as they are oh my gosh anyway um okay so this palette it looks really beautiful and i'm looking forward to trying it out soon <laughs> sorry guys i'm just i shouldn't have mentioned the constipation i mean oh my gosh she's not a regular beauty youtuber oh no no she's talked about constipation okay so next we have a product by Han Diane and this is a two-in-one matte liquid lipstick and liner this is really really exciting me actually because someone um, commented on um, an Instagram post yesterday asking me if I had any good recommendations for lip liners or liquid lipsticks from AliExpress and I was kind of like well not really um, because I've not really found a lip liner from aliexpress that i like you need a poo bud okay okay so next we have a product by the hand diane brand this is a two-in-one matte liquid lipstick and lip liner so i'm really really pleased that this has come actually because just yesterday somebody commented on my instagram asking if i had any recommendations for good liquid lipsticks and lip liners from aliexpress and i was like well no because i've never really found a, a lip liner that i've liked on aliexpress 
but you never know this could be the day and I could just like say oh yes 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 bitch I have a two-in-one product that is really good um okay so this is what it looks like so you've got the liquid lipstick at one end so oh my oh my gosh she's a mini I don't know what why I expected it to be so big but yeah she's cute like this is her uh, she looks to be like a really nice shade as well I'll do a little kind of just swatch oh she's very thick like I've got a feeling just based on my experience with AliExpress liquid lipsticks I think she's gonna dry down really fast but I think she's gonna be quite drying and I also think she's really going to accentuate lines on the lips because um, I think just in my experience on AliExpress look at me like the expert of AliExpress like not really but I've just like I've tried a shitload of products at this point because I can't afford any other products really but um yeah all of the liquid lipsticks or not all but the majority of the liquid lipsticks I've tried they haven't been great honestly so yeah you never know with this one but I mean I've kind of I've judged it already because I, I just have a feeling I just have a feeling it's going to be a bit like uh, do you know what I mean? Um, okay, so on the other side we have the lip liner. Oh my gosh, she's quite chunky. You know, for a lip liner, look at this. She's just quite chunk chunks. But I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, I, I'm kind of excited about trying this out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, bitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I'm really excited. I am ready to be impressed with a liquid lipstick and lip liner from AliExpress. So I'm gonna be trying this one out very soon and we can we can see, is it good or not? I hope it's good. Okay, so next I have a black eyeliner and this is by the Lula brand. I think that the Lula brand is the same brand that made that shiny, not very shiny lipstick. So without consciously meaning to again i'm kind of judging this product just because i wasn't a fan of the lipstick that i tried um but you never know this one could be good uh this is it's just called the lula eyeliner long lasting 3d i'm always on the lookout for a really good eyeliner i have found a few really really good ones on aliexpress the banksia liquid eyeliner was really good the um eye magic one really really good uh there's one by you can be that's really really good so there are quite a few good ones out there but you know I'm always in the market for more okay so now we move into the products that I've been sent from Novo like so like I have to just begin as well like this little portion of the video with a, a bit of a disclaimer or just like just something like it's not a disclaimer but just to say I'm so appreciative of having these products like it just it felt like Christmas when I was opening everything and I don't want you to think in any way that I am at all ungrateful because like I posted a picture on Instagram of the palettes and after I posted it I was just kind of thinking oh my gosh should I delete it because I was thinking oh my gosh it just sounds kind of braggy because I always like worry about you know when you're just writing something I think it can come come across differently to if you're saying something because when you're saying something you know you can see the gestures on the face but just like when you're, you've written something or you can see the words and I think I put something like oh yeah a no vogue sent me these products and then I was like oh my gosh like having anxiety thinking oh my gosh like everyone's going to just be thinking that Amwin's bragging about this and that's definitely not in any way what I was doing but um Anyway, so I'm going to begin with the first product and this one is called, so this is the box it came in, it's called the Starlight Ambilight Necklace Eyeshadow Palette. The Starlight Ambilight, oh my gosh, I mean that sounds great, but um, Starlight Ambilight, Ambulance Lights. Anyway, okay, so guys, prepare your eyes because a feast is about to come before them. Honey? Yes, honey. Oh, guys, look at this. So we don't just have an eyeshadow, we have an eyeshadow bag. And I just, I never thought the day would come when I would have like a bag that was an eyeshadow palette. And I am going to open it and show you like what's inside in a minute. But I just want us all to take a moment to admire this. 
packaging. I mean, if this isn't the prettiest, most sparkliest, just absolutely divine eyeshadow palette you've ever seen, I just, I don't know what is. Like, literally, like, look at this. I've just fallen in love with this. And on the front of the palette, it says Macandy. And actually, I think, I think I, in my post, I said this was like the Macandy palette. But then it says on the box, maybe Macandy is the brand. So, but I'm sure Novo sent this to me. I'm sure they did. But you, you know, you just, you never know with AliExpress. I feel like there's, there is like one big factory and it just produces all of the makeup. I just think that's what happens. But anyway, so this is like, it's called, I don't know. I think the, it's made by MAC Andy. This feels and it looks so beautiful. You've got this kind of rose gold chain. So like you could definitely take this on a night. I, I would definitely like just rock this and have everyone think, oh, it's a bag. So like Alice might say, Amon, could I just put my lipstick in your bag, please? And I would say, well, Alice, yes, if this were a bag, that would be fine. But this is not just a bag this is my eyeshadow palette i've brought it out with me um to come and enjoy the night out because it's so good um okay so guys i know you're probably dying to see what's inside so if i open her up are you ready look at this oh oh my gosh this palette i think it looks really really beautiful i must say though that I think I prefer the actual packaging and the little chain bag element to the actual, you know, like, palette. I think they did, like, too good a job just making the palette look so pretty that, um, you know, whatever was inside it didn't really matter anyway because I think everyone's just going to be blown away by the packaging. So I'm not, like, like hugely excited about the actual palette um, because it's nothing that I've really not seen before does that make sense nothing that i've really not seen before it's not anything that i've not seen before i don't know none of that sounds like it makes sense to me but um yeah i mean it looks good i'm just i'm really intrigued to find out what the quality is going to be like of the eyeshadows because um i think they have put in so much effort i think they've actually spent a bit of money on the actual packaging like this chain it does not feel cheap this front texture bit, it does not feel cheap. So I hope they've not kind of scrimped on the actual product, you know, to make the outer packaging so good. But I mean, even if they have, I, I couldn't really blame them because I've never seen a bag eyeshadow palette before. So I think they kind of deserve an award for that. So this is the MAC Andy palette. I don't know if it's actually by Novo. I don't, I don't know, no idea, but I believe Novo sent it to me. Who knows? Okay, so next we do have a product by Novo and these are the Starry Sky Psychedelic Liquid Eyeshadows. So this is a pack of five of them um, and it's, oh no, it's not by Novo. What the feck is going on? It's not by Novo. Like it's not, it's by Hold Live. Oh, I'm really confused now. Like who, who has sent me these products? I've been saying Novo, but actually now I'm thinking it's Hold Live. So I'm going to have to go back and edit that Instagram post anyway. And so actually, yeah, I think it's hold live. Like, oh my gosh, I'm really sorry, guys. Like, I should know, but I don't. That's the story of my life, honestly. It's like when my manager asks me something like, oh, Amwin, do we have a fire alarm in number 44, Fanny Pack Lane? And I'll be like, uh... Do you know what I mean? That's just me all over. Um, but you get five different liquid eyeshadows. They all look really, really beautiful. Like three of them look to be quite glittery. The other two look to be just quite like sheeny and beautiful. So I am definitely going to be trying these out soon. My experience with the Hold Live brand has been really, really positive. Um, so I am really, really like super excited to give these ones a go. <clears throat> okay, and the final product I was sent, and again, this is by what I think is a, another brand. So this is by the Siam Bird brand. Do you know what? If this is not confusing, I don't know what is. I don't know who sent these products to me. Like, I thought it was Novo originally, but then I think now that I just had Novo on the brain because of their beautiful, you know, like creamy eyeshadow palette. And if I think back, which I have an awful memory, like a, the, the shittiest memory you could ever imagine. I have the memory of a 98-year-old 
person like I do. I've just got such a bad memory. But I th now I'm thinking it's a whole live brand. So do you know what? I'll find out and I will definitely let you know. But this is the Siam Bird palette. If I open her up, this is what she looks like. Again, it's nothing really kind of unique or different to what we've seen before. I would go as far as to say that if you have um the aromas palette by you can be i think you would probably have most of these shades and i yeah i think that yeah like i don't want to be like a complete bitch and like just like you know being really disrespectful to this palette and cruel and like i don't want to be horrible horrible or anything but i need to speak my truth and my truth is i've seen this all before i mean it does look pretty though and by gosh, you're Nelly, I'm going to be trying it. Because the formula may be exceptional. You know, it it may just be like perfect. So I'm willing to, like, I'm going to give it a go, of course. And I don't want to sound ungrateful, but yeah, I've kind of I've seen it up before. Oh my gosh, like, she is such a bitch today. But um, anyway, this is the Siam Bird palette. Feels really heavy. Like, I feel like they put some kind of weights in here. Okay, so the last product I have to show you today is actually a a piercing thing so you know i've got like my industrial there i i wanted to kind of change it up a little bit um sorry i know the sound of me opening like it's like you know when you're trying to watch 90 day fiance and your partner's opened a bag of crisps and they are determined to eat that bag of crisps as noisily as possible and it's like yeah yeah like this and you're just sat there thinking, oh my gosh, I can't hear what Tanya's saying. Seriously, seriously, honey, can we not open those crisps and eat them a little bit more gently so that I don't have to hear this? I mean, really, honey. Um, but anyway, so this is the little um, bit of jewellery that I got. Okay, so if I just open her up. Okay, so this is the piece of jewellery that I got to go in my industrial. I just thought it'd be nice. It would add a little bit more like flair i don't know to my ear because you've got this big feck off bit in the middle which i really really like so i oh i'm so nervous like, i always get so nervous about changing any of my piercings apart from like my low piercings but any like you know cartilage piercings i always just dread it because i always end up with like an ear infection afterwards um and do you know what just looking at it this bar seems quite thick whereas the bar that i've got in it can you see not really that thick so i'm going to try this on a little bit later i'm going to put the footage in now so that you can see okay so here i am oh shit that light not in the best position is it i'm not used to filming down here but it's kind of fun i might start filming like all of my videos just on the floor just to eliminate even having to have a chair can you just imagine a, a life without and when moaning about her stool and when moaning about her chair I mean, that sounds like a great life to me. But anyway, guys, so I've got my light here, as you can see. So I'm going to just move her back. Like, seriously, get out of shot, Karen. You're cramping my style. So anyway, we're here. Here's my ear. Here's the side of my face, which is most broken out. So that's great, isn't it? We've got a light shining upon it. So anyway, I've got the accoutrement accoutrement right here i'm a little bit nervous on it oh shit do you know what? i've just realized that my industrial is on the other fucking side of course it is of course okay so now i have to like rethink the whole thing could i just move my light oh yes that sounds like a great a great option there we go put the light there Okay, so that's good. Oh, now I'm going to have to move my hair. Okay, just pop it over there. Okay, so guys, we have the ear. I hope you can see my ear. Oh my gosh, come on now. This is your moment here. This is your time to showcase all your talents. Um, okay, can you see it? Or is this light too bright? It's fucking too bright. Oh my gosh. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing with this light. I I just kind of twist the tweezers on it until something happens. But anyway, so here's my ear. So I am a little bit nervous and actually I was not even going to attempt putting this in because I was just thinking, oh my gosh, it's so much thicker. Like if you compare the bar to what I've currently got in, it's like considerably 
bigger I would say so it's a bit intimidating um but I'm just gonna go for it anyway so I'm gonna take this one out by the way I love my industrial can you I don't even think you can you see I don't know anyway I'm beyond caring honestly guys um but yeah oh my gosh she's out okay so the old industrial is out I love this piercing like it took about a year to heal honestly if you're considering getting your industrial done just know it's not going to be an easy ride. It's going to be full of ups and downs. There's going to be times when you think, hell yeah, it's healed. And then it's not healed. It's just like, oh my gosh, it's like the worst relationship you could ever have. But anyway, so I've got my new, my new bar here. Oh, we got the doodah in the middle. I never know what to do with the doodah in the middle. Um, I think I have to take both, like, balls off on both sides. Okay, so here we go. I've got the bar, I've got my ear, and I've got me, and I've got the light. I don't have a bra. It would probably help to have a bra, but I, I don't... Oh, shit. Sorry, light. Do you ever apologise to inanimate objects, or is that just me? Okay, so I've got my palette here. By the way, this is a great palette. I tried this ages ago. It's the Firefly Forest Palette by Teaser Cosmetics, and I feel like I don't give this enough love. It's an absolutely gorgeous in a palette but anyway so i'm going to use this palette oh where am i going to put it oh shit guys i don't know where to put it i cannot see what i'm doing okay so if i just come down like this okay so i'm trying to poke the band through i'm gonna wet it i'm licking it okay so let's do this Oh, the bar's too thick. The bar is too thick. I just can't get it in the hole, guys. It's just too big for my hole. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I'll never miss the opportunity for a dirty joke. My hole is just too small for this big girth. Again, right, too much. I'm not going to tell anymore. Okay, it won't go through, guys. It will not... No, it's too fucking thick. Jesus, did I get the extra large or something? But, like, if you compare it... I don't know how well you can see, but if you compare the band with my old band, it just looks so much kind of thicker. So, do you know what? I'm going to say feck it. I'm saying feck it. It's been a long day. I've had to do work. I've had to... We've gone to the dentist today, which was a trauma all in itself. So no, I refuse. I can't do it, guys. And plus, I really don't want to risk getting some kind of infection. Fuck it, she says. Now I've got to try and get this back in. Oh, shit. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, these are my Christmas pants. Do you like them? They're so comfy. Okay, so I'm going to try and get... going to try to get this back in. Wish me luck, guys. She's going to need it. Oh no, that's really easy, it's gone in. Okay, just to show you as a comparison, like look how easy this is to get in. Oh, those were the famous last words, weren't they guys? This is not easy, holy shit. Hmm. Oh fuck, it won't go in. Oh, there we, there we go guys, did you see it coming through? I'm definitely gonna pay for this guys. I'm going to pay in the form of a really tender, here for the next week to 10 days you know what i mean okay it's fine it's in now and that's the main thing so guys that was an epic fail wasn't it but i mean i tried i didn't think i was gonna even try but i did this this bar is just way too big um and i accept full responsibility because i obviously i bought it and some people just probably have bigger holes than me. I must just have like a really small hole. I'm gonna pass you over to Anne when she's gonna end the video. She's gonna be like, okay, so guys, which have you noticed my favorite thing to say in a video? Okay, so, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Anne Winator, think of something new to say. That's like, okay, so, it's so boring. Just say something else like, hey, ho hey up, or right on guys. I'm gonna start saying right on. So the next part, anyway. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. I cannot wait to try out these products. So I am going to be doing many kind of testing out Alex West makeup 
videos i'm going to be trying out every single one of the products that i've shown today the next video is definitely going to be the uh, mysterious palette review um just because i i have a feeling this is going to be like really really good and also just to mention as well i think that you can be have re released a palette that is a little bit similar to this one so i've ordered that one as well um just in case anyone's thinking it because I know that you guys are on the ball and I know that you've probably seen the You Can Be. It's, it's quite similar to this. It's not like 100% similar from the looks of things on the photos, but I am looking forward to trying that one out soon. Um, and then we can determine which one is best, you know? But um, anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I hope you have a great day today and I will hopefully see you in the next video.